Uh, in Dune, there was a, a test called, the, I think it was called the Gam Jabbar, something like that. Um, it was to test to see if you were a human being. And what the test was is you'd stick your hand in a black box and uh, you'd get like a little needle held to your neck and you would be told that uh, your hand in the black box is going through imaginary pain. But if you yanked it out, even though you could intellectually know that nothing's happening to your hand, uh, they're going to jab this needle inside your neck and kill you. And uh, then, of course, there's the commercial um, that says, never let them see you sweat. And it shows people in uh, stressful situations just happy and confident, holding up their arms so you can see there's no, uh, no sweat uh, in their armpits. And uh, I think of all the times that, like, throughout a business day where I get uh, a feeling of the fight-or-flight response. Um, I had somebody recently uh, say uh, they, were on one, they were on another side of a partition having trouble getting something to work, and they turned to me through the gap in the partition, and they said, stick your hand in here um, and I, 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 I gathered what they wanted me to do was try to get the piece of equipment they were trying to get to turn on and but it came across as violent and demanding and I wasn't watching him but he had a he had a screwdriver in his hand so maybe he was maybe he was thumping the connections to see if there was a spark to see if there was power to it but this man said, stick your hand in here angrily, where I'd stick my hand through a gap. And he was holding a screwdriver, and he was obviously furious. And my first desire, actually, was to leave the area. Um, which I think is a human thing to do. Um, I, think I, would, uh, I think I would fail the test of the Gom Jabbar. I'd probably step on that, with the lady with the, the needle to my throat, I'd probably stomp on her foot, catch her with an elbow knock the box down and run, <laughs> you know? I think that's the human thing to do. I think that uh, somebody, uh, I was just listening on NPR, someone just drove across the country and they did it without interacting with other human beings. In that uh, uh, everything they purchased, they, they did self-checkout and, and all these things, uh, um, all their uh, yeah, they just didn't deal with people. And some people were talking about that that's, you know, the death of the service industry or something like that. And I thought it's, uh, it's almost like a safety valve because if you could limit how many hundreds of people interact with you a day, you're going to limit how often you feel that, that fight or flight response, it seems to me. Because I've never had a job that didn't involve that fight or flight fight or flight response that it wasn't either really actually felt like a threatening situation that was like classically threatening like someone losing their temper uh, or becoming violent um, to kind of just perceived uh, things like that guy saying stick your hand in here holding a screwdriver and a maniacal look on his face um, but I'm sure he had no intention of of hurting me or anything like that he was just frustrated and wanted help um, yeah, I don't know, because I was thinking, I've, I just had two days off, and I feel so good, and I have to go to work in a little bit, and I started feeling a certain amount of anxiety, and nothing, actually my job isn't, doesn't have anything about it that would uh, um, cause anxiety, except for the fact that it involves uh, large amounts of random people, uh, and any one of them uh, might do anything, and is, is likely to do something that will trigger, trigger some form of anxiety. Um, and like it's, it's pretty recognized in that there's even like a system in place uh, to deal with that kind of thing. Like even on schools now and stuff like that, people carry radios and things like that. Um, we're, all, we're all becoming like first responders to tense situations where the second like voices start getting raised, um, you're a, a few steps away from an intercom or a radio or a phone. Um, yeah.
Yeah, I don't know. I guess I'm just just recording my, my feelings right before I go to work.